So here we are in uh, a casino, really nice hall by the sounds of it, uh, on the stage because uh, we've done these, the last, uh, what was it now, three shows in completely different places. The first one was my most wonderful theatre with an incredibly well-balanced sound. Uh, uh, the second one was the Hard Rock in, in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, and that's, that sound there is not bad. But the third one, the sound was rather rather weird on stage. It'd probably be okay out front. Um, and I don't know whether the fans know, but I lost my my monitor man last year to Lady Gaga. I shall never forgive her. Never forgive her. Simon Hicks has been with me all those years who trained up to be what I consider to be the best monitor man in the world. He went to work for her because it was two and a half years work for him. And I said, Simon, you've got to take it, you know, because he's, he's got a family to keep. And who don't work that much? So I've been running, dealing with all these different issues, running in a new monitor man, dealing with different songs on this show. And every hall we've played has had different sounds on stage. So it's been a bit of a bumpy ride, but we're getting there. Uh, needless to say, we still have fun. Uh, it's great, really great to play these new songs, Some, most of which, the new ones that we're doing, like, like Athena, like uh, Had Enough and How Many Friends, the Who never ever played on stage. So that's kind of exciting. It's ni nice to revisit things like Dreaming from the Waste, because I, you know, when I look back at that period, when Pete's writing about basically about a midlife crisis, he was 31 years old, and I, I kind of find that interesting. I'd like to have that mid midlife crisis again, because <laughs> it wasn't quite the problem we thought it was. <laughs> uh, so it's great to revisit those songs and, and sing them uh, from where I am in my life now, which is in the twilight, um, and looking back on them with a mature head. Uh, uh, it's, in, it's interesting, very, very interesting. And hopefully they, the, the songs have grown and developed into being something a bit better than they would have been when we, when we did them back then. I don't know, but uh, I'm enjoying doing it anyway. And of course, Pete is welcome to join us anytime he wants to, <laughs> so we can be the who. I miss him terribly. I miss that man on my left. Um, you know, he's my, my soul brother. Uh, and um, hopefully it won't be too long before he gets fed up with sitting at home making the tea and uh, we can get out and be doing some stuff but the truth is the truth is at the moment I need a break I need to go away from it you get fried the travelling the travelling fries you it, it fries your brain the jet lag and time changing my brain now is tired and I've started to forget things, which is not good. Um, I've had three big concussions in my life where I've been out for at least five minutes or more. And uh, I'm starting to worry about the big D coming up. Uh, hopefully not, if I can hang on to, to the lyrics, that, that kind of brings me back. So what I, th I think I need now is a rest. So there you go. But it's been great. And thanks for being there this year for us. Been a Fabulous, fabulous, successful year for uh, South America playing to those young fans was incredible. Uh, the little tour we did in back in the summer and, and the Vegas stint, that was wonderful. Um, and it's just, it's it's very humbling to think that the, the, the fans, you fans, have, have stayed with us all these years and still support us. I mean. We don't. We try to give back in our music. Maybe we're ne they're not there quite enough for you, but we are what we are. We are what you. What you see is what you get. Um, there's no bullshit with who. So anyway, all the best to you. Have a great Christmas and a really great holiday season. Um, that's it, really. Have a really, really great time next year. That's all I can say. I'm, I'm fingers crossed. <laughs>